It's Katya here and I have like a metallic frame. It's round and I prime it with gesso because uh, it needs... Uh, gesso is a primer. It helps anything to glue fast. I have the texture paste, graphite, and I will add texture on my frame and uh, I add it with my fingers. I do it on the both sides and leave it for dry. It gives like a sandy uh, texture effect and I want it to be all over frame. It will be like a really simple project. Now I have the heavy body gel, so so strong gel and I have these mold uh, the wings and it's uh, from resin. It's a nocturnal insect and I they are still not complete dry so that's why I have been bend it over the frame. It's like a clock frame but I have put out the clock. Uh, this frame will be like a window um, decoration. So I hold it a little bit. You could hold it even more uh, to give it like a uh, hold better. But I was impatient like, like I am. And here I have like this uh, moth uh, and I glue it on the other side. And you see the, if you want it to be more perfect to glue down, you use um, paper clay instead. But right now I was impatient. I have this beautiful cat face from the mold Ammon and Bast. Really fun uh, to add uh, these uh, molds on this frame. And I'm patient and I'm trying and uh, testing and I decide on one other side I will have these metallical uh, mechanicals small screw heads from the hardware accent uh, it's a set with three different screws and I have like shoes one uh, to give like a discrete effect and I glue them with a heavy body gel and uh, you see me not working like perfect as usual. You who know me know that I'm doing like this. Uh, but I will add texture. So please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you are not subscribing to the channel, uh, do that please. And hope you will like what I'm doing. Uh, mixed Media. Uh, with Finabe products and uh, love grungy, rusty projects. And here I have the mini art stones and that's to create more texture around the screws and around my, uh, around my details. Otherwise it will be really clean and not uh, to be overworked. I love to do overwork projects. I never know when to quit. But this project I want to be a little bit more simple, grungy and rusty and with some extra texture like the rust have been like uh, growing. When uh, I want to add even more from small molds, like small gears, uh, to do like some kind of framing, uh, yes, I'm adding these uh, small gears so I have like elements here on the like the three ones, one up and down, and two more to center my what, what I will have in the middle and in the middle I have these molds from the set love machine and they will be in the center of this clock frame and always I prime my uh, molds and here I have white heavy gesso you can use clear gesso or black gesso 
but it's for priming. Now I will have like flakes and I have this gilding glue and I'm tapping it on and I'm using not my best brush and I'm tapping on it. I will not have these flakes all over my gears. I will have them a little bit here and there. So that's why I'm tapping it on and it gets like very sticky. So beware about that. I have the metallic flakes and they come in many, many, many colors, but I have chose uh, the silver ones. And to get my uh, gilding glue to get more sticky, I'm heating a little bit so it gets sticky. So I'm adding the flakes and I'm using my brush. You can use your fingers or if you have some other tools, you do it. I simply use my uh, uh, bad brush and tapping on really messy no perfection and of course you can add the metallic flakes all over and all over your molds it goes now when i have add a little bit here and there i'm using my fingers to like put it on everywhere and a little bit inside, a little bit outside, but anyway, with no exactly perfection. So I go on and even the back side of the bolts, I want to have uh, these flakes. Yes, I will have on the both sides and it gets really messy on my hands and I'm using the brush to do the like the finish. I'm not brushing it too well. If you do that, you will wipe off still off some of the flakes. I will not do that uh, this time, but depends about the look. And you need to do like a test. Yeah, do some experience and you know how you want to do and what tools you want to use. If you want to use your hands like mine and to get like this crazy messiness, and I decide I even want some of metallic flakes of the gears, what I have already tried to glue, but they was not dry. So yeah, do a test. I like the flakes because it gives like the nice uh, effect, even on your hands. Yes, it's so fun. Now I have the metallic flakes on my gears and I have tried that they match here and I'm doing the test again and I want them to like match here and yeah it will go it will be a little bit tricky but I know it will go so I simply add some heavy body gel and I'm a little bit messy and like that but it works so I'm pulling out and I will Add them there. Always I'm a little bit impatient when things will dry. I am uh, should have like two or three projects at the same time because I'm not the best friend with the heating tool. No, not at all. Unpatient one. And adding more gears uh, and this is a fun way to have like decoration that will go on the both sides. So I will add the gears on both both um, and uh, back and uh, forth. So you see me getting a little bit tricky and uh, my decorations is not right yet. So they move around a bit. So take care to not do that. Try to dry heat your things a little bit better than I do. Now I will add uh, white on my frame. It will be white, but I don't paint it uh, perfectly. I will have a little bit of the graphite paste to show here and there uh, because uh, it's grayish black and it will match my project because it will go in silver. So now it's time for some metallic paint, acrylic and the color silver spoon and I will not add like a heavy layer. 
a really thin layer because I want a little bit of the graphite paste to show underneath and I want it to be like uh, like a little bit translucent with the white in the bottom. So that's why I go really heavy with the water to make the color flow and um, but it's still silvery and grayish project uh, and painting and uh, on the both sides so it gets like a silver and even little uh, dry brushing on the top on my molds on the top so a little bit everywhere and spraying water so it go like in the gaps really fun project and now i have uh, a jar from uh, the small rust paste uh, set and i'm tapping uh, on my embellishment and i'm so sorry i'm a little bit out of the camera so you see me tapping on and spraying water because the rust and the colors they move like they want so it's not a perfect project so i'm tapping here and there where i think the rust uh, should go and it goes like uh, where my mold decorations are and i'm doing and uh, leave one side for drying and i go around the screw heads uh, because they get rusty, of course they get rusty. So I'm doing that. So tapping and spraying water and uh, go that over and over again. Um, your embellishments must be dry, of course, when you spray water. Now I will add like more darkness and more grunginess. And I do that with liquid, uh, liquid acrylic paint, the burnt sienna. And I'm doing the same effect here, but I'm a little bit more careful. Now I want the burnt sienna to go in the gaps. So I'm using a little bit smaller brush and go like around more. It will not go so heavy uh, like the rust paste went. I go like fine details around the embellishments to give like a shadow around my gears and in the gaps and the burnt sienna is perfect if you want to give it a harder touch uh, more contrast you can use black instead but i love the uh, rust and burnt sienna in the mix i think that's make a great uh, combination so you see me going over back and forward uh, until i'm happiness the colors it will shade down a bit uh, when it's uh, drying it will go a little bit more matte and that's perfect even if the liquid acrylic paints is a little bit glossy when it dries but the paints uh, will stay um when they are dry now i'm adding a touch of carmine carmine also give like a rust effect but it's more reddish uh, so i'm not going so so heavy with that one i'm a little bit careful careful so i'm doing this coloring in th three steps always start with the color that goes uh, most of effect Okay, I uh, think I'm soon uh, really happy with the project. So now I'm adding the final touches with wax. I start with the white gold. Yeah, I will add a little bit of gold and then it's white gold to this silvery and rusty project. But I like it to pop out. And you can see my cat face is not staying there. So... But it will in the end because it will stay dry over the night on my project. And now it's absolutely the final step. It's to add like brush iron. And I go really light handed because I still want the white gold to show. So hope you enjoy the video and uh, 
like all the beautiful project. See you soon in the next tutorial. Bye bye and take care.